Compared to the private sector, government employees are hard to fire. But it's not only possible, it happens every day. And here are some of the reasons why. First, you have falsifying time cards. So depending on your federal agency, you'll either have to do your own time card or you'll have a timekeeper. For example, your 30 minutes is up, lunch is over, you're still at the restaurant for one, two, three hours. You're not working at the restaurant, you're just hanging out. And maybe after that you just go home or perhaps you don't even show up. You don't show up for two or three days, but you're still marking that you're present because the time card's done on a website. So people are doing this. <laughs> this is nothing new. People have been doing this for years. And by that same token, people have been getting caught. People have been getting terminated for falsifying their time card. Every hour of your day, when it comes to work, it's being accounted for. So if you have to go do something, then use your sick leave or use your annual leave, or there's like a dozen categories of leave you can input in there. But you do not want to say, oh, I'm present, it should be just fine. A mistake is one thing, especially if you're new to the government, a mistake is understandable. But if it happens over and over again, eventually that's going to be an indicator. Someone's going to take notice and it's not going to end well for you. Next way is by lying on your resume or in your clearance paperwork. Now, surprisingly, this happens all the time also. This is a financial burden on the agency because say you lie and now you're being onboarded. Maybe you're there for a month or two and it comes out you don't have those skills. Or maybe you actually committed multiple crimes that make you ineligible to hold a clearance. Well, now the agency has to go back to step one. There's so much time involved with finding a candidate, doing the background checks, having someone take their time to train you. All of those hundreds of hours are lost. Now, not all liars are caught. There are still some that hold their positions, but do not take the gamble. It's not worth taking the gamble. Do not lie in your resume. The next one is misusing a government vehicle. Now this could be a car, a truck, a van, it doesn't matter what it is. We have people using those vehicles for personal uses. Maybe they're picking up family members from the airport. Can you imagine that? You're picking up your nephew or your cousin at the airport, or you're speeding down the interstate going on a road trip, and then you get pulled over. Now, I don't know if you know this, but government vehicles get pulled over just like everyone else. And I know this because I was in a government vehicle when it was pulled over. I was in a van and it was pulled over for speeding. So this happens. Do not think you're invincible because you have government plates on the back of your vehicle. You should not be using this for anything outside of the scope of your job. Next is misusing a government credit card. Some employees, when they get into the government, they're given a credit card. This obviously is for work expenses. But what ends up happening is they start, you know, buying their groceries or going to an adult nightclub or spending it on things they have no business spending it on. And then you have somebody who's auditing these people. And at one particular time, I was an individual that did the audits on a lot of these credit card usage. And you would see all kinds of stuff in there. Like every time they go into a convenience store or a 7-Eleven and they swipe their card for a Coca-Cola, you see all the information there. And sometimes there's, a, there's cases where people are buying alcohol with it and that's a no-go. You go through uh, a small course when you're given a credit card, you know what's ethical, you know what's morally correct and what's not. If you get tempted to do the wrong thing, once again, this could end up costing you your job. Next is sleeping or just disappearing from the job. So it's hard to believe and it's kind of frustrating. When I interact with so many people that are trying to get into the government, and then at the same time, if you look at some federal agencies, you have people sleeping on their desk. They're not even trying to hide it. I'm talking about their cheek is on the table and their eyes are shut, lights out. And sometimes people try to wake them up and they just go back to sleep, it's ridiculous. But this type of behavior, it can be documented and it can lead to you getting terminated. Then you have other people that are just trying to kill time. So maybe they, they take a lap around the office, they take two or three laps, you know, this ends up taking 15, 20, 30 minutes. They're making social visits to different people's cubicles. Now you're not gonna get fired for that, but for sleeping, you can definitely end up losing your job for that. The same thing with disappearing. And here's the thing with these infractions, all it takes is for you to make a couple of them and then all of a sudden the spotlight's on you. Everyone's watching every move that you're making. And then you find yourself on a PIP, you're on the performance improvement plan and HR is involved, your supervisor's involved. It's an embarrassing thing. But if you are a new federal employee, then don't get scared. Most people, 
When it comes to their probation period, their 12 months, most people are able to do that without an issue. I think something like 85, 90% of all federal employees are able to make it through their probationary period. But if you are still trying to get a federal government job, you might have a ton of questions. A lot of questions about the federal hiring process. And every month I try to do a live stream where I answer dozens of questions. And if you want to know some of the most popular questions that come up during these live streams, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.